Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to a new video and welcome to my 7k Q&A. I recently hit 7,000 subscribers, so once again, thank you to everyone who's subscribed, watches the videos, likes the videos, comments on the videos, it's much appreciated. And I recently asked if you guys had any questions for me about Newcastle, YouTube, uh, anything really. I would go through them in today's video, so I've got a load here, I'm going to get through as many as I can. I think the last time I did a question and answer video was... Uh, oh, about a year ago, so I'm looking forward to getting into this, looking forward to seeing what you guys have to say, um, and yeah, let's go for it. To start things off, we have a question from BeetleGreg07 who asks, is your whole family NUFC supporters? Are there other alliances as well? So no, there are no other alliances. Everyone in my family supports Newcastle. Um, some of them may say they're not the biggest fans of football, but if you ask them who they supported, they would still say Newcastle United, and that leads quite well onto Ben's question, which is, how long have I been a Newcastle United fan for? So, pretty much, I was born, and then I was a Newcastle fan. Um, and I'm sure that's the same for a lot of you guys as well. My parents were Newcastle fans. I went to school in Newcastle, so everyone was a fan there. You go and play football at a young age, everyone's running around in the exact same Newcastle United shirt. So, at no point did I ever wake up or think about the decision of who to support. It's always been Newcastle. Um, you know, I'm proud to be a Newcastle fan. Rigged Gaming asks, would you ever consider doing score prediction videos for the international break? So, if you guys haven't seen it, I do a weekly prediction video for the Premier League games. Um, I did used to actually do a few for the international breaks, but um, I normally pick four games when I do it. And over the international break, there are so many games to pick between. And because I support England, I used to pick the two England games and then just pick two other games. Um, and I used to get comments from people saying, you know, they went from England, so why do I pick England and that kind of thing. And there are a lot to pick from, so I just kind of stopped. But I'll tell you what, mate, next time there's an international break, I'll do one. Kenny Kenny asks, are you still injured? Um, and that fits with another question from Helmet, who asks, do you plan to record any more football videos with them weird twins again? So, if you are new to the channel, if you haven't seen some of my older videos, or if you don't follow me on Instagram, because I was posting about um, some injury stuff on there not too long ago, basically my ankles just don't like playing football anymore. Unfortunately, um, I remember when I was younger, there was a point when I was wearing ankle braces on both ankles when I played. Um, because of that, it's just quite tough to bring out football content. Now, over the summer, I actually recorded a football video. The plan was to try and get a few done over the summer. I did one, didn't get injured in that video, but did shortly after. So I've actually been editing that footage quite recently. Um, I kind of left it at the time because I was a bit unhappy that, you know, I couldn't make any more. But I've got it back, I've been editing it, and I'm hoping to actually put it out over the next few weeks. It's a bit of a one-off um, because there's not going to be a lot of it. Maybe in the summer, if I can get back to full fitness, I can do a bit more football. But uh, look out for that other football video coming out soon. AJ Boy, firstly, congratulations on 7K. Thank you very much, mate. And secondly, what was your first Newcastle game? So I actually texted my dad to try and double check or find out exactly which was my first game. He said he wasn't 100% sure because he'd taken me to a few when I was very little. Um, but can definitely remember we went to the Peter Beardsley testimonial in January 1999. Which is almost... 20 years ago, so yeah, been going for a long time since I was very little. West Brom Fan TV asks question: What do you make of the swap deal between Rondon and Gale? Would you like to see Rondon sign permanently? So uh, this guy's got a great channel, by the way. So make sure you go and check him out. Start of the season, I was happy because Gale did us a job last year, but he wasn't amazing. Um, and then Rondon came in. He's been injured. He's been unfit. And if you'd asked me this question two weeks ago, I might have had a different answer for you. But seeing him score those two goals against Bournemouth, um, and my honest answer would be I'd like to see what happens for the rest of the season before I gave an answer. But if I've got to answer it right now, then yeah, I'd like to see Rondon sign permanently. Ultra Wolves asks, where did you get Rubenstein from? So the answer is it's made up, basically. There is a bit of background on it, but effectively it was just kind of made up. Uh, when I first started YouTube, I didn't know what to call my channel. I didn't know what videos I wanted to make. I just knew I wanted to do something with YouTube. If you actually if you actually go back and look at my first ever videos on YouTube, they are literally just me holding up my phone, recording my mate score a goal on FIFA, off, like on his telly. So that was me just testing the water um, to see what I was going to do. But as for the name, obviously my name is Rob. Uh, when I was younger, like 
this is a long this is a long time ago. This isn't like recent, but my, my mates used to call me Rube. It was like a joke, so Rob Rube, and then that kind of just became Rubenstein. Um, so that and then when I made my channel, that's what I went for. So I do sometimes look back and think maybe I could have picked something different, but you know, I'm rocking it now um, and I'm happy with it. We've got some questions on Newcastle United players, so I'm going to go through some of them now. First off from Oliver, who asks, who's your favourite Newcastle player of all time? So, is Shearer. I mean, it, it's got to be Shearer. I know it's it's an easy answer. He's the, the club's do top goal scorer, absolute legend. Um, but you know, growing up, it, for me, it was, it was all Shearer. So I've got to say him. It's not a very quirky answer. I mean, uh, I remember when I was a kid, I was a big fan of Rob Lee. I think mainly because we had the same name. But other than that, it, it's it's always been Shearer. Another question from Rigged Gaming says, Congratulations on 7K. Thank you, mate. Who's your current player of the season for Newcastle? For me, it's got to be Fernandez. I think he's been fantastic. He's a bargain buy that no one really thought was going to be any good, or at least I didn't. I think he's been absolutely cracking. So, yeah, Fernandez. Burnsy Boy asks, who was your favourite and worst Newcastle player? I'm um, not sure about worst. Uh, I'm guessing he means current squad. So I'm going to go favourite. I'm going to go Fernandez again. You know, he came in, didn't know much about him at all. He's an older bloke, doesn't have anything to prove, but he's come in and he's, he's been fantastic. If he can do that for the rest of this season, I'll be a very, very happy man. Uh, worst Newcastle player? I mean, that's a tough one because... It's probably someone who hasn't really had much game time or hasn't really had a chance in the side. I mean, to be honest, the whole team might deserve that trophy after the way we started the season. Thankfully, things are picking up now, but... I don't know. I'm, I've not got an answer for that one. Which leads us on to Jordy's question, who asks... Well, he says, congratulations, mate. 7K hard work pays off, so thank you very much. Question, if you had to make an 11 of old and present players, who would be in the team and why? So, I actually did make um, an all-time Newcastle United 11 in a video, so you guys can check that out if you click on the icon up here, or it might be up there, I'm not 100% sure. But if you click on that, you can watch that video, it's, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, right now, there isn't any current players that I would put into that team, you know, maybe in the next few years someone could you know Fernandez uh, maybe but um, yeah only time will tell we're, we're, we're pretty much a building team right now um, so we'll have to see how it goes Christopher Wright says hello what is the main aim for your channel and are you looking to get bigger uh, if you're at an away game I'll meet you for a pint sometime yeah sounds good you know if you ever spot me outside the ground or inside the ground say hello because it is always nice to meet subscribers um, and PD Proudlock says next sub target willing to aim for so um, I don't really target myself with YouTube um, and I know it sounds really cliche but I just like doing it I just like making videos I've combined it with Newcastle United which is has and always will be a big part of my life so I just like doing it and I remember when I first started my YouTube channel and I was obviously not on very many subscribers um, and you start like trying to make friends with other channels that have got similar subscriber count to you um, and the majority of those people don't upload anymore um, and that's the thing I mean when I first started I could have hated it after the first two months and then stopped you know when you when you first start and no one's really watching your videos you haven't really got any subscribers it didn't phase me all that much because I just like doing it so as for targets I've never really set any if I was gonna set one I think the the one to put on it would be 10,000 subscribers because it's a rounded number basically um, and yeah it's always good to have new subscribers I'm very happy with the subscriber count I've got now I've got a really great community with you guys so no big targets, just carrying on what we're doing here um, and enjoying it, to be honest. Thomas Muller asks, don't count Newcastle or the big six, but out of the other 13 Premier League teams, which one do you enjoy watching the most? Now, <laughs> this team is in the top six, but they're not part of the big six, and that is Bournemouth. Um, I love watching a team do well that people don't necessarily expect to do well. So the Leicester season, when they won the league, was fantastic. Uh, Burnley last season when they got Europa League football and uh, Bournemouth right now you know Callum Wilson Fraser in the uh, midfield are doing really really well uh, and it's just nice to see teams that maybe you wouldn't expect to do great are putting on a good show so yeah I go Bournemouth Harry asks favourite Newcastle chant at the match 
It's an easy one. The Blaine races. Lewis asks, who's your favourite YouTuber and inspired you to start YouTube or did you start YouTube to talk about Newcastle? So, no, I didn't start YouTube to talk about Newcastle. Um, I actually first started off doing FIFA videos. The majority of them are still on the channel. Uh, so if you want to go back and watch them, you can. Although whenever I watch one, I cringe very, very bad. But as for Newcastle, that just kind of came along. You know, I decided to video at the match one day and I like doing it so I kept doing it people seemed to start liking those videos um, and that's kind of where the Newcastle thing came from which was pretty good for me because I love going to the match anyway um, and if I can make a video on it it's great too um, but as for favourite YouTubers that inspired me now um, a lot of the YouTubers who I used to watch don't really upload as much anymore um, I think one I would probably say is Chris MD. Um, he does mainly FIFA football videos and I think that was kind of what I liked to try and do myself. Um, the thing I liked about him and especially in YouTube now is that he was just a, just a kid who decided to make some videos for people to watch. There was no um, money behind it, there was no companies paying him to do it. He just wanted to do it because he liked doing it and that's kind of where the inspiration came from in that sense. The actual content of the videos is quite different, but it was just that idea that anyone can make a video. You know, anyone can do it. Anyone, if you've got a mobile phone um, or anything like that, you can get your camera out and go for it. So that's kind of what inspired me. Um, and like I said, the Newcastle stuff came along a little bit later. But um, I'm glad it did. Linking back slightly is something I just mentioned in that question. David asks, what camera do you use? So, I use my mobile phone. I can't show you it right now because I'm recording with it, but this is my old mobile phone that I used for, I don't know. I've been using the one you're watching now for a, a few years, so this is it's very old. But um, the only thing I've really upgraded is I got this microphone. So if you can tell any sort of audio difference, it's because I've unplugged it. Um, and to be honest, the audio difference between this and using this is quite small, but when you watch uh, yourself talk as much as I have to when I'm editing the videos, I can definitely hear the difference. So this I got as a present, but I think it was like £40 maybe. Um, and you can actually get this additional wire that lets you plug it straight into your phone, because really it's meant to go into a camera, but then if you get this, you can plug it into your mobile phone. So, yeah, I, I, I have looked at upgrading to a camera at times, but, you know, they can be quite expensive. My phone works fine, and it plugs straight into my computer, and it's easy. So, yeah, maybe one day I'll look at getting a camera, but right now, it's the mobile phone. The football fan chat asks, where are you from? Where do you live in Newcastle? I am, yeah, I'm from Newcastle. I live in Newcastle. I always have. I lived in Manchester for a few years, um, which was fantastic, but... It was nice to come home, and he also said congrats on 7K, so thank you very much. It's a Jordy asks, what is your job? Uh, who is your favorite YouTuber? Brackets, no NUFC YouTubers, and shout out question mark. There's your shout out, mate. Um, I'm not gonna go into what my job is, but I do work full time, so YouTube is um, a complete hobby for me. Um, and who is your favorite YouTuber? Now, um, you've done me over a little bit then because the majority of time I spend watching YouTube is watching other Newcastle United YouTubers, Newcastle United videos. Um, I have had a think, so, and I'm gonna go with Stephen Tries. Um, a lot of you guys have probably heard of him. I think he's, I, I do watch other YouTubers, but I think he's definitely one of the ones, if he uploads, I watch the video. Um, otherwise, I'm dipping in and out, so yeah. I'll go for him. Kevin and Lewis have both asked, uh, do I play FIFA 19? Yes, I do. Uh, big fan of FIFA. I um, actually posted an Instagram picture recently, if you follow me on there, of pretty much me having every FIFA ever. Uh, so yeah, I do play it. And Lewis kind of asks, do I have a plan on making any FIFA videos? So um, FIFA 19, I kind of stayed away from it a little bit this year. And that was mainly because FIFA 18, I made a bit of a thing about wanting to do FIFA videos. I got halfway through a season and I kind of stopped. So I was worried that if I uploaded a FIFA 19 series, I would get halfway through, I wouldn't finish it, and I wouldn't want to start something that I didn't finish, and that's kind of why I kept away from it. Um, I am more and more tempted to upload it, especially when I'm sitting here playing it, I'm thinking this would be a good idea for a video, that would be a good idea for a video, but I wouldn't want to start it and then stop. 
So if you guys were, would be interested in seeing some FIFA, I'm actually going to do a poll. Let me know if you'd like to see some FIFA on the channel again. Like I said, I started doing FIFA and it's always been in and out of the channel. Uh, but, you know, if you guys were interested in it, maybe I could move some of the stuff I'm doing on my own and put it on the channel. Last few questions. Matty asks, favourite away day? Um, definitely going to go Leicester last year. Uh, went down there, won the game, kept us in the Premier League. The crowd was fantastic. It was a really, really good game. Ben Scott asks, have you ever been to Tottenham away? Did you love it? Love it. Love it. I don't know if that's a reference to Football Factory or not, but um, have I ever been to Tottenham away? Technically, well, no. Um, I have gone down to Wembley for a Tottenham away game because I'd booked all the trains and then because of um, the fixture changes, the, the game got moved. So I went all the way down there. I actually spent the weekend in London with some mates. So I still had a good time. But have I been? No. Did I love it? No. And the final question. The Baldy Nugget asks, Would you rather win every away game but draw every home game and get fourth in the Prem? Or win every home game and draw every away game and get fifth? P.S. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Um, it's a good question because going to watch Newcastle and draw every single game would probably not be the most exciting thing. But at the same time, you want the team to do well by winning every away game and I probably wouldn't get to go to all of them. So I'm, I'm going to go win every away game because if we got fourth, Champions League will be back at St. James's Park the next season. So, you know, it would be tough for a season, but... I would, I would take it to see Champions League back at St. James's Park. And that is it, guys. So I hope you have enjoyed the video. I've been recording for quite a long time now, so I feel like this video could be quite long. But I wanted to get through as many questions as possible. And I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who has commented a question, along with a thank you to everyone who has liked the videos, who just watched the videos, who is a subscriber. Like I said, it is much appreciated. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. All right? Once again, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you later.